I've made videos in the past talking about how Twitch makes new guidelines in reference to new metas that certain women on the Twitch platform end up making like the hot tub meta. They pretty much made an entire different category just specifically so that they can stream out of pools, hot tubs, or beaches, even though if you clearly look on the category on Twitch, they don't use it for that they use it for other nefarious reasons uh and then there was the whole sensor bar meta that that got stopped pretty fucking quickly which luckily that's that's something that ended up happening then this whole thing called the uh colonoscopy cam meta which i think got popularized by moist critical which i think is very funny that ended up becoming a thing because i think there was a streamer called strawberry tabby who i mean female streamers were already doing this regardless where they have like a cam for like their, their face and stuff and like their upper chest area where they're wearing as little clothing as possible and they have tits the size of one piece characters and then they have another camera that's pointed towards somewhere else around their body whether it be like at their thighs their stomach or in this case specifically with strawberry tabby their their ass right and then with how little clothing that she was wearing you could actually see the outlines of her asshole hence the name of colonoscopy cam meta so that's the whole reason why he made that joke in his original video talking about that in the first place but then you have other streamers who take it the step further where obviously because strawberry tabby got ended up getting banned for eight days and only eight days for the whole colonoscopy cam we have streamers like asian bunny x who does the exact same thing like they already described but instead of she has the camera pointed at her ass and she's more oiled up than a professional wrestler in the wwe and she's standing on an automatic jiggler as some people have decided to call it and her ass is just shaking around like she's in a goddamn fucking earthquake or something i don't know i, I kind of stole that from voice critical i'm sorry uh but yeah it, like that's just basically what the whole stream is i randomly decided to go and see what she was doing she was she was online and she was she was still doing this type of content and of course that's like all that she was doing and the category that she was in was pools hot tubs and beaches and she's not even inside of a pool a hot tub she's not at a beach or anything she has like a little kiddie pool or like a little like hot tub thing in the background so that's enough for you to be in the category and still like be able to stream on there i don't know why but other than that like she just has like a small cam where she's playing valorant or whatever other game there is and that's basically like all the content is this is that she's she's standing there she's playing a game and not in the appropriate category wearing as little clothing as possible and being as oiled up as possible and for the life of me i just don't really understand how people can watch this because you know the only reason why she's really even streaming on the platform is just because she's trying to get as many viewers as possible and as much eyes on her as possible so she can put her link tree in like the like the chat or whatever and just get people to get funneled to her link tree so that they can go to her OnlyFans content because of course a lot of these women who are doing this on the platform are OnlyFans girls. They go against YouTube search of service so that way they can funnel that into like your main source of revenue and make as much money as possible which you can't really be mad at i totally understand why they're doing that like at the end of the day they're trying to get paid they're trying to get the bag and if i could do it i would 100 percent fucking do it but nobody wants to see my fat ass naked and pay money for that it's just not gonna fucking happen right so it's just i don't do it and i don't want to disrespect other female creators who are using the opportunity at hand to you know get that back i totally understand why they're doing it because this is 100 percent on twitch's fault uh, this is 100 percent twitch's fault they don't do anything about it they instead make new guidelines to try to get people to be encouraged to stop making that type of content and stop making that type of live stream content in general but end of the day these creators are going to go ahead and do whatever they can to scoot around the guidelines and continue to keep doing what they're doing in the first place that's how we got stuff like the hot tub meta that's how we got like the, that's how we got stuff like the sensor bar meta and that's how we have the current meta that's currently on twitch right now they're gonna be able to figure out a way to do whatever they can and obviously twitch recently released some new guidelines where they're not allowed to be fully or partially nude including uh, exposing genital genitals of buttocks nor do we permit streamers to imply or suggest that they are fully nude or partially nude including but not limited to covering breast or genitals with objects or sensor bars which was talking about the sensor bar meta but at the end of the day it's like you can make all these new guidelines for the attire and like the categories that they're supposed to be in and this and that and yada yada and you know context as to why they're dressed like that or why they're 
streaming the way that they are you can do all that but at the end of the day it won't matter they will continue to keep figuring out a way to create a new meta to continue to keep doing this content unless you either do one of two things either you make an entirely new category right that is solely focused on 18 plus content where women are allowed to expose their bodies and show as much skin as possible they can either be fully nude or partially nude or whatever right but that has to be an entirely different category and i like mudahara's suggestion and having that content being gatekeeped behind a paywall so you have to pay a certain amount of money in order to be able to gain access to that specific content and you should also be able to figure out a way to also be able to verify that a person who is trying to buy this paywall is also of age of actually being able to access it so they have to prove that they actually are over the age of 18 or 21 if you want to do that but they won't do that what they should do is that they should just outright ban it because that's not what the twitch platform was for that's not what it was created for it was created for people to just have fun doing whatever without being super sexual like playing video games doing art or just anything in between that just isn't hyper sexualized but instead they just try to include as much many people as they want they, they want to have these streamers who want to be super sexual but they just still want younger audiences like as young as like 13 or younger to still be able to be on their platform and still watch all these streamers and still enjoy the content that's being made by all these other streamers and it's just you can't have one and the other and coexist you either have to prioritize one or get rid of the other it just it doesn't make sense the these guidelines they're not going to last i said this in my last video that the guidelines weren't going to last because they, they were going to figure out a way to get around it anyways so that's pretty much just where we're at we have them until friday uh which i think at the time of me recording this is probably tomorrow because they said it was the 29th uh to see what they're gonna do to get around these new guidelines they've already probably figured out exactly what to do uh because they've already probably had a bunch of ideas and a bunch of uh precautions for in case twitch decides to change their guidelines once again instead of just outright banning this content so anyways that's pretty much it i don't really have much else to say i really don't want to make another video like this again unless they actually decide to ban this fucking content but they're never going to because it gets them too much traction on the website, you know, and I guess that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts uh, on this whole situation are in the comments down below. I'm super interested to just start a conversation. You know, I'm super, in I'm wanting to get engaged with you guys in the, in the comments. I want to read what your thoughts are and just engage in the, in the discussion. Because that's the thing I enjoy the most about making videos is just engaging in that discussion. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Please turn on bell notifications so you know you never miss another video. That's it. I'll see you guys next one. I'm out. Peace. Let the